Hello, I'm Jamie Shibley, CEO of The Expressory. Today, I thought we would take a minute to talk about how to design a meaningful gift. You know, as we're approaching the holiday season, a number of you may be starting to think about, ah, you know what, we do year-end appreciation gifting. What is it we want to give this year? So I thought the best way to do that would be to break down a gift that we've designed and um, executed in the past and one that we know was successful for one of our clients. So um, we work with an agency owner who is in the travel and tourism industry. And she shared with us that in the past, you know, they've done gifts and they have um, alternated the holidays that they use. So not always giving a gift at, you know, the traditional Christmas time. Sometimes they've done Valentine's Day, um, sometimes New Year's. And you know, we've talked about this before. Of course, you vary the theme of the gift. Uh, you kind of tailor it to maybe the season you're giving that um, appreciation. And uh, But in this particular case, uh, we were sticking with kind of the um, Christmas, but more toward the New Year uh, gifting opportunity. And I will share with you what we designed. Now, again, remember she was in the travel or she is in the travel and tourism industry. So the gift we opted and we went with is this um, travel organizer. It's kind of a nested three pack of organizers. And she let us know that this particular gift received the most engagement that they've had with a, an appreciation gift. Um, and so we thought it would be helpful to kind of walk through why that gift probably landed really well with the recipients. And, and you know, hopefully this, come, this helps you design a gifting experience of your own that will create some pretty solid emotional loyalty for you. All right. So the first thing is that when um, this gift was mailed, the message came from the owner herself. And now what we've seen from research uh, is that clients really want to feel connected to the leaders of an organization, right? Now, we know we might not work with the leader every day, but they still want to feel like they have that relationship. And so this message was directly from the owner of the company. And so it really helps clients feel like, oh, they see me, they still, you know, they get me and feel a little bit closer in that connection. Um, the second reason that this gift was pretty strong is that it was related to their relationship. They work in travel and tourism, and the gift is related to travel, right? And so this gift is serving as this reminder, yep, we have this relationship, we're in this travel thing together, right? So every time they use it, they're reminded of that. Another reason this was really strong is that uh, this gift went, uh, so that was 2021, moving into 2022. And if you think about where we were, right, we're still dealing with COVID. Everybody was in that space where we're tired, we're ready to get back out. And so this gift signified it was related to a transitional time. And when you can touch on that transition itself, this served as a reminder of, I wanna get back out there. It was motivating. It was a thing that, you know, we're, we're, we're going into this. Along those same lines, another attribute tied to this gift is that it was goal related the goal of getting back out there so now you've got the transitional time of we're freeing back up um and and the goal of doing that travel strong motivating gift and always a reminder it came from you um and the last reason that this gift was a, a strong emotionally connecting one is it serves as a reminder of the overall shared experiences that you have together. So the leader of the organization or, or the company itself and the client share the experience of travel tourism related things. And that's what this gift is, it's travel tourism related. So when they use, they're reminded that they enjoy working together. All right. So you can see we've got about five different attributes, um, reasons that this gift 
created a very strong emotional connection. It's going to be long lasting. Plus, the recipients just loved it. Like it was something I'm going to use, right? Uh, so hopefully that gives you some ideas of how you can create and experience this holiday season if you were about to embark on some uh, year-end appreciation giving. As always, if you want to brainstorm some of these things related to your own brand, we're always happy to do so. Thanks for listening.